So it's the end of the term, so that means bookshelf toy. It also means, because it's the end of the year, that I'll never be using these bookshelves again, which is really sad. So currently on my desk, all my stationery has been moved because it's been packed up because I am leaving in two days. I've got this Saga for Icelanders. I do own a copy of this book because I use it for my north, but I sent it home with my family. But I needed a book with deckled edges for YouTube videos, so I've taken that one out long. And then I've got my currently reading book and the books I finished for the 14 books challenge. This one came from the Orchids Ball Library, so that needs to go back. And these two came from the University Library. Oh, and also the Great Gatsby, so they need to go back as well. Then up onto my bookshelves. As you can see, the difference between the end of spring term bookshelf tour and the difference between the summer term one is that I don't have them all lined up as if like these anymore. I've got some different stacks and there's a reason for that. But we'll start up top. I've got my two Lucy Worsley history books, which I didn't get around to reading either of them, but I definitely think I'll read the Jane Austen one over the Christmas holidays, probably, because I am doing a Jane Austen module spring term next year. Still got this book of poetry, the two classic reads that were on my TBR classics, but I haven't actually got around to reading them. Stephen King, Salem's Lot, and Stephen King on writing. I kept them here just in case I wanted to read something spooky. This book of historical dates, and you've seen these three books here. This shelf up here used to be university books, but I sent all my university books home with my family when they came to visit a couple of weeks ago because my deadlines have finished and it helps with packing to send books home. What's left are books that I had over summer term that maybe I wanted to read but were the least likely ones to read. And then I've also got my mugs up here that I don't use as often. So how I've separated these out here is that these two piles have been piled differently instead of being put on the shelf are books I was more likely to choose from for the 14 books challenge so that's why they were separated away so these books here behind the cactus are more of the books I had already read before that point. The Priory of the Orange Tree the big chunky fantasy book which I'll probably try and read this summer but I'm not quite sure. Up top we've got A Curse of Dark and Lonely which I did read this term and the reason it's on top is because I lent it out to a friend and recently I've been giving it back. News from Nowhere and Ideals of the King are university books I got in book bundles. One of them is actually down in the 14 books read challenge because I read one of them. So they're my Tennyson to Tolkien module books. Then behind my cactus are books that I've already read this term. So Empire of Storms, the Two All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy, The Poet X and The Secret of Vault 13 are all books that I'd already read before the challenge started. A Court in Frost and Starlight is actually here, even though I read it a year ago, because I lent it to one of my flatmates, so I asked my mum to bring it up when they came, family came to visit. So she's brought that with her so I could lend it out to my flatmates, and now it's back on my shelf safe at home. And The Darkest Minds, I didn't put this in my um, possibly pile for the reading challenge because it is part of a four-part series and I tend to, like, need all the books with me before I start reading a series even if I don't read the series one after each other. So these two piles are slightly organised, like the pile on the right were books I was more likely to pick from and they were books I read from more but of course now they're down here and I have gathered a couple more books during the challenge. I thought of maybe doing the His Dark Materials trilogy because they all are quite smaller books but I didn't in the end I kind of want to do them over summer that's the end of my summer TBR and also kind of want to do a reading vlog of them so that's why I eventually did not pick them. Still up here, I didn't really want to read science fiction during the challenge. Same with The Silent Companion and Pinch of Magic, I just didn't feel like reading them during this challenge. Margaret Atwood, Handmaid's Tale. Now this was on my summer term TBR list and it's the only one of my summer term TBR that I didn't actually read <laughs> during summer term and I'm not going to read in this day that I've got still left. Now these three books here are smaller books I got out the library, they're all university library books, so it's a Gowan in the Green Line, The Jew of Malta and King Lear, just in case I didn't reach the reading count but in the end I decided that I want to focus on enjoying the reading instead of bringing up the read count. That's the same for H.G. Wells' Time Machine, which is up here, it's a university library book that I took out because it's a smaller book and could help with my challenge. Then these three little penguin, little black book classics I got from a charity shop this week, so they've been put up here. To Kill a Mockingbird is another one of my TBR classics, but 
I thought about reading it during Chance because it is quite a small one, but I didn't. Same with Jane Austen. It's not on my TBR classics, but I thought because it's a small book, I put it up here. Disenchanted by C.R. Raven, which is short story collection, and I got them both from Comic Con. I did read one of the short stories collections. I read Romance is Dead instead, which did help with the challenge. Truly Devious, in case I wanted to read something more on the side of mystery. Four Dead Queens, which I'm really excited to read because it is a standalone fantasy and it's hard to find standalone fantasies. And then I've got hardback books down it at the bottom to choose from. The only hardback I ended up reading was Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. So I've got The Rosewood Chronicles that are currently out, so that's Undercover Princess and Princess in Practice. Like I said, I have read that one. I haven't read that one yet, but I want to reread the first one and read the second one before the 5th of September when book 3 comes out, so it's on priority reading list for my summer term TBR as well. Jay Mao's Catwoman Soul Stealer, just because even though it's part of a series about the DC icons, each superhero or supervillain is written by different authors, so they are a series, but you can read them individually, and I only wanted Catwoman because it's Sarah J Maas. So I put that on there just because it's an individual book to read. And also Scratchman by Tom Baker, which is a brilliant Doctor Who book, just in case I was feeling really in Doctor Who or horror mood as well. So that's my bookshelf tour. There isn't actually too much to say about this because there are other books I've already read and I didn't actually buy that many books. The only books I bought were the two To All the Boys I Love Before sequels, so these two books because I was on a book buying ban until the book bundles came out. And because of the amount of books I've had to buy for my dissertation, I'm going to have to go on another book buying ban over the holidays. Well, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.